All right. So uh, in this segment, we are going to cover up the first principle, key concept uh, about the differentiation. So when you talk about the differentiation using first principle, so just a little bit of insight here. So if you have the function, uh, let's say this is y equals to f of x function. And uh, this has been given as x. Here is my f of x. And if I increase this value to infinitesimally small value, so we get f of x plus h. Now, as per the differentiation formula, our first principle is dy by dx, because you're differentiating here, let's say y with respect to x. So it's defined as when h tends to zero. My f of x, we heard that we have is um, f of x plus h, written as f of x plus h first, minus f of x over h. So this is like change in y or change in h, x. Uh, so that's your condition here, that h, and h should be close to zero. Now, our first thing is, the first objective is to firstly find out this part here. Okay, so f of x plus h is nothing but, according to my function, it should be replace x with x plus h. So 2x plus h plus 3. So it's actually a square root of 2x plus 2h plus 3. Now, why this question becomes a little challenging is because when you substitute out here, okay, let's see what we get. So uh, my differentiation dy by dx for this expression is basically limit h tending to zero. Now I get 2x plus 2h plus three minus f of x, that's uh, this function, which is square root of 2x plus three upon h. Now, if I straight away put the h value as zero, I get zero over zero, which is um, indeterminate form. So if I put h as zero here, so you can see clearly I get root two x plus three minus root two x plus three. So what we have to do is we have to ad adopt a strategy here for such kind of question, which is called rationalization. Uh, so when you rationalize it, uh, what we get is uh, basically, I'm just gonna modify this step. Uh, so it'll be limit h tending to zero. I'm going to write, rewrite this expression 2x plus 2h plus 3 minus square root of 2x plus 3 over h. But what we're going to do additionally here is we're going to just take, take the function, let's say root uh, 2x plus 2h plus 3 and plus root 2x plus 3. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to take it as a minus b. Here is a minus b and here is a plus b and of course because you're doing a plus b and if i don't divide it by another fact uh, like the same fraction it is uh, not going to help so same term i'm going to rewrite it down here so it is 2x plus 2h plus 3 plus root of 2x plus 3. now um, since we all know that a minus b a plus b is a square minus b square what we get is eventually uh, this is a so root of 2x plus 2h plus 3, the whole square. Uh, so here the root disappears actually. And then root 2x plus 3, the whole square over h times this uh, root 2x plus 2h plus 3 uh, plus root 2x plus 3. So what we logically can do is uh, we can now uh, don't forget to write down this limit as tending to zero. Now we can open this up and we get very simple expression, 2x plus 2h plus three uh, minus 2x minus three over h times square root of 2x plus 2h plus three and um, plus root 2x plus three. So now when you cancel out, this is gone, this is gone and 2h only is remaining here. So h and h get canceled. Now if I plug h as zero, this part, because since h is close to zero and there is nothing indeterminate here, so I can just plug h as zero now. So what do we get eventually is two over square root of two x plus three, because h is zero, so this is zero. And here we get is root two x plus three. So actually, when you simplify this, your final answer that you get is, uh, one over uh, two over two times root two x plus three. 
But since this two and two get canceled, my final answer is one over root two x plus three. So this is the final derivative uh, for this particular example. One of the very, very important example for IB. So please, please make sure to practice such question. And now uh, taking down the second example, I'm gonna take the next example, which is um, four over two x plus three. So four over two x plus three is my example. Now, in this question, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take f of x plus h first, minus f of x straight away so that we can simplify it. So four over two times x plus h plus three minus four over two x plus three. So this is f of x plus h minus f of x. So uh, then you, you can just quickly take the LCM. So it's gonna become eight plus 12 x, eight x plus 12 minus, if you open this, it's gonna be minus eight x minus eight h minus 12 over um, 2x plus 3 uh, in one bracket and other bracket is this which is 2 times x plus h and plus 3. All right so this 8x and 8x get cancelled 12 and 12 get cancelled. Now putting in this the formula for the differentiation f dash x equals to limit uh, since h has to be cr pretty close to zero we get minus 8 h over 2x plus 3 and um, 2x plus 2h plus 3. That's my this simplification. So this is actually f of x plus h minus f of x and the whole thing divided by h. Now, since you're dividing a number by a fraction by a number, this h and this h get canceled. Uh, if you remember this rule, a p over b divided by c is actually a over b c. So this is what is happening here. Now you plug h as zero. So what we get as final answer is uh, negative eight over two x plus three, the whole square. So because this h is zero, so you get negative eight over two x plus three, the whole square. So this is how you find the derivative using first principle for these two examples. And the third one you can try on your own. And if uh, um, if you have any question, you can watch these key concepts to achieve this objective. So this is the practice on the first principle.